our coverage with a free account on privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Well, our next guest is here. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? All good, thanks. Excellent. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Yeah. So I'm Roberto Vienone, CEO and co-founder of Zandrin, which is a Swiss health tech company. Okay. So what are you guys up to at the show this year? <laughs> yeah. So we are meeting customers and potentially investors. Uh, so basically what we do in Zandrin is that we use AI to analyze baby cries. So we're talking about babies, let's say zero to one year, okay. one year and a half. And we can say not only why the baby cries in real time. So, for example, if the baby is hungry or sleepy, we translate that, so to say. Okay. And we can also, uh, going forward, identify potential signals of pathologies or development disorders based on the sound of the cry. Wow. Okay. I think I remember seeing a pitch email from you yeah. and, and finding this really fascinating. It's... It's kind of like a language translator for cries. That's correct, yeah. Baby language is actually a language, yeah. That's correct. Okay. What a fascinating concept. Where did this idea come from for uh, you? <laughs> well, actually, I became a father five years ago. Okay. Uh, our, my first daughter. Now I have a second one as well. And yeah, the first period for me and my wife was not an easy one. It's probably, I mean, a common story of many parents around the world, so not only, yeah, not only me and my family. And, and therefore, yeah, I started thinking about how that could have become easier for other parents around the world. And I also discovered at some point that, yeah, my, whenever my daughter was crying, she was actually communicating stuff and she would have cried differently if, they, if she had certain pathologies and development disorders. So that's where basically that triggered the entire thing. Okay. So personal experience. Yeah. Okay. That's a common story and I love to hear that that something in your life made you go it's got to be a better way yeah yeah exactly and the idea you know as I became a father I also realized that whenever my daughter is crying she's communicating information and it feels even wrong that you know we're not really listening or paying attention and in some cases some information could save lives of you know babies all around sure. the world could change their life forever if in case you know you identify that there is a certain development disorder much earlier compared to when this is often done. Yeah, and that's basically the value that, that we believe the, the mission of Zound, the mission of the company itself. Okay. So currently how do you accomplish this? I imagine there's some sort of a device involved. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So our product is basically a software, a cloud software. Okay. And we interface we interface that software into multiple devices that people have already at home. So we don't want to sell an additional device, you okay. know, with microphone, because I think we have already more than enough <laughs> devices listening and, and microphones around the house. So we rather integrate with... Two in my pocket yeah, right now. Yeah, exactly. I also have two in two <laughs> different pockets. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we don't need to add microphones, sure. frankly. We're just integrating devices that people have already at home. So being baby monitors, being other baby products, but also, I mean, these days, not only phones, but even TVs or Alexa or Google Home. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're integrating with existing products. Correct. So how wide is this integration? Is this something that you're working with the manufacturers on? Are you building software for, say, Alexa and Google Home? Are you, no. where does this fall in? Yeah, so basically we work with different companies, let's say home consumer electronic companies, starting okay. from baby companies, but some of our customers are not even baby companies anymore. Okay. And then we work directly with them. So we just need to interface, you know, so it's a small project that we need to do, and then they can offer this feature as part of their product. Gotcha, so you can go out and buy uh, theoretically, you could buy a, a baby monitor from company A, B, and C. All three of them could have this as a feature. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You still get the capability of being able to analyze the cry and get the translation out of it. Exactly. Correct. Okay. And going forward at some point, you know, because baby monitor typically is only used where the baby sleeps, mm -hmm. you know, but that's not, I mean, the baby, of course, doesn't spend 100% of, of his time in that room. Let's hope. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. And that's where, you know, we want to integrate also in non-baby products, so like TV and going forward Alexa and so on. So basically okay. grouping up all this information to monitor the baby wherever it is. Very interesting. Where in your company's process are you? So we are launching now uh, some of com some companies that I cannot mention the names. <laughs> sure, sure, are, are sure. Launching yeah, yeah. Are launching products with our technology inside in different geographies, including US, in the actually in 2023, so in some months. Uh, and that's yeah, that that's where basically then we have to scale up, so to integrate in additional companies going forward. Yeah. Okay, so. 
the technology is in place. The technology is ready, already tested for years. Um, okay. Well, actually, the part about pathology and development disorder, no, not yet. That, that part we are developing, it's also a medical device, so, you know, we're working with hospital and research institutes, okay. but that's a long thing. And that requires things like, like the FDA? Yeah, for correct. The yeah, exactly. That's part of the process that yeah. we're already doing. The other part, instead, it is not a medical device. But the core bit. Yeah, the, trans the detection and translation of baby cries in real time, that's what has been already developed and tested okay. for, for you. So that is ready. Yeah. Okay, so that's there. You're currently working on partners Correct. to be able to start putting in the products. Yeah. Uh, do you have what you hope to be a timeline where we might see this out in the wild? Yeah, so U.S. it should be July this year. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty far into the into the partner process. Yeah, it is. It, is. it has already been tested. So now it's a matter of interfaces and starting the marketing activities, et cetera. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So there is a product that you've already got. That somebody has already got ready to go. Now we've just got to get into manufacturing Excellent. and all the things that come along with it. We were that. calculating, I think, families used our technology for about 120,000 hours of use. So let's say it's more than tested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's completely mature. Yeah. Okay, that's a lot of yeah, <laughs> a lot of time out there. Yeah. So was that through like a beta project a process? Yeah. So okay. we, at some point we had a device running our technology. We were not selling it. We were giving it for yeah, free yeah. to yeah, yeah. whoever has a small baby and wanted to try it. And we have done that for about four years now. You know? Okay. So we we were giving devices for free for the last four years. Gotcha. So, so super tested, yeah. long term tests, in fact. Correct. And now you've collected data that that can be used even to move into your your next phase of the medical stuff. Partially, yes. Partially. The other part is since that is a medical device, you have to go through so all yeah. kinds of mess around that. Yeah, clinical I've, trials, etc. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I I have worked on a medical device. It yeah. is. An absolute mess yeah. to go through. It's yep. so not easy. Partially, we monetize from our first product in order to finance and develop yeah. the other part. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very cool. So, if people want to find out more about this, because I guarantee they're going to want to, <laughs> yeah. uh, how can they do that? So, our website, so uh, zoundream.com, there is also a link where if they want to test our technology, they can apply. Of okay. course, we can't serve 100% of the parents who apply because we are limited, we are still a startup. But yeah, they can definitely apply and, and, and ask. And then very soon, they will also be able to buy baby monitors with our technology from US and actually in other parts of the world. Super cool. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing this out in the wild. It really does sound like a great technology. Thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, have a great rest of your show. And thank thanks you. for taking the time to come talk to me. Thank you. Thanks Absolutely. a lot. Absolutely. Bye.